Amid the persistent inadequate electricity supply in Nigeria, authorities have restricted power export to neighboring countries to meet domestic demand. Residents and business owners have been largely impacted by the prevailing power supply predicament in the West African nation. President Tinubu's late administration is said to be initiating measures to remedy the situation, but power companies still struggle to meet the local demand. Let's have more details of that in this report. To keep his cold storage business running, Richard Ehidero relies on these generators. Without them, he probably would have closed shop a long time ago. It's the law to both small and big businesses in the country, as public power supply is hardly reliable, but it comes at a huge cost. And it's taking a toll on the business already, because the, 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 light, the light issue is not really good at all. It's something that you have to support it with the diesel. We run gen almost like five hours, six hours, and the cost of the liter of diesel is 1,600, 1,550. So now calculate that by hours. Local manufacturers are among the most affected by the poor power supply in Nigeria. Factories in the country run more on generators than public electricity. And the cost structure of power in an average manufacturing company is between 30% to 40%. So when that uh, percentage of your costs escalates by about 200, 300, 400 percent, you have a major problem in your hands. So this is compounding our perennial problem of uncompetitiveness. For months now, electricity supply from the national grid has been consistently below 4,000 megawatts. Authorities have now decided to drastically cut back on power exports to address the challenge. President Bola Tinubu has also just approved fresh projects to fix the ailing grid. There was a new approval for a 93 kilometer transmission line in the southeast. There is also an approval for 15 numbers of acting transformers and acting reactors to strengthen the grid. You understand? And we also got approval for emergency restoration systems. Recently, the government increased electricity tariffs for some category of customers, promising them at least 20 hours of supply daily. But power companies have struggled to meet the commitments. The current government, however, remains confident it will fix the perennial electricity challenge. We have a clearly documented reform roadmap to take us to our desired destination when we are going to have reliable, functional, cost-effective and affordable electricity in Nigeria. It cannot be achieved overnight because it's a decay of almost 60 years which we are trying to correct. Small business owners like Ahidero are holding on to those words, hoping the government delivers on its promise to enable him cut down on his cost on power, which he says makes up around 40% of his cost of operations.